If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. To create bonus-only or commission-only paychecks in QuickBooks Online, if you subscribe to a QuickBooks Online payroll service and have added the bonus and or commission pay types for employees, hover over the payroll link in the navigation bar and then click the employees link in the side menu that appears to open the employees page. Then click the drop down arrow on the run payroll button in the upper right corner of the page. Then select either the bonus only or commission only command from the drop down menu as needed. If you select the bonus only command, then the run payroll bonus only window opens. This screen doesn't appear for the commission only choice. In this screen, you choose how to pay the bonus. To enter the take home pay for the employee or the amount left after any withholdings are removed, select the as net pay option. To enter the total pay for the bonus or what the amount is before any withholdings are removed, select the as gross pay option instead. After selecting your choice, click the continue button in the lower right corner of the window. For both types of pay, in the next screen, select the bank account from which to pay the bonus if you created multiple bank accounts from the Pay From drop-down at the top of the screen. Then enter the pay date by selecting it from the Pay Date calendar selector. Then check the checkbox to the left of the name of the employee or employees to pay in this bonus or commission payroll run within the employees table below. Alternatively, uncheck the checkbox for the employees to not pay. To check or uncheck all checkboxes, click the checkbox at the top of the column of checkboxes in this table to select or unselect them all respectively. For the selected employees, enter the amount of the bonus or commission for each employee into the bonus or commission column as needed. You can enter an optional memo for the pay into the memo column. Optionally, to review the paycheck details for an employee, click the pencil icon at the right end of their row to make any adjustments needed in the paycheck details window that opens, and then click the OK button in the lower right corner of that window to return to the run payroll window. Optionally, to set any payroll options, click the pencil icon next to the payroll options link below the employee table in the run payroll window. Check any payroll options you need to apply, and then click the Apply button that appears to apply them. Alternatively, click the Cancel button to close the Payroll Options section without applying any options. To continue, click the Preview Payroll button in the lower right corner of the Run Payroll window to show the Review and Submit screen. Make sure to thoroughly check your work. If desired, to preview the Payroll Details report, Click the Preview Payroll Details button in the toolbar at the bottom of the window to open the Payroll Details report in a new window, which you can close after reviewing it for accuracy. If needed, to save your changes to this point and leave, click the drop-down arrow on the button in the lower right corner of the window and select the Save for Later command from the pop-up menu to save your changes and exit the Run Payroll window. Alternatively, to close the Run Payroll window without saving your changes, click the X button in its upper right corner to exit without saving changes. After ensuring the information is correct in the Review and Submit screen of the Run Payroll window, click the Submit Payroll button to then show the paycheck information on screen. To print pay stubs, click the Print Pay Stubs button to show a preview of the pay stubs in a separate browser tab or window, where you can print them and then close it when finished. If needed, to record check numbers if printing paper checks, type them into the check number field for the associated paycheck. To view your payroll reports as individual worksheets within an exported Excel workbook, click the View Payroll Reports link in the toolbar at the bottom of the Run Payroll window. To open a Your Payroll Reports Are Ready window that lists the available payroll reports. Check the checkboxes to the left of the names of the reports to export, and then click the Export to Excel button to download them to your computer as worksheets in an Excel workbook. 
You can then click the OK button in the lower right corner of the Your Payroll Reports Are Ready window to return to the Run Payroll window. To finish the payroll, click the Finish Payroll button in the lower right corner of the Run Payroll window. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.